So how do we use this? Well, first is, you know, like I said, you shouldn't, if, if your system has overall positive expectation and you've tested it or you've researched it, then you should be doing it. Um, if you don't know that, you shouldn't be doing it. Once you've been trading or once you've been, you know, using the system for a while, you should realize that a small tweak can actually change the results substantially. So, you know, if you boost the, uh, here, if you boost, you know, same win rate of, of 50%, if you boost from $2 to $3 a winner, so you increase it by 50%, then your expectation goes up massively. So small tweaks can change results substantially. Um, several tweaks together, so boosting your win rate and your win-loss ratio can really transform your performance. Um, the coach of British cycling, he's been you know, the most successful cycling coach in the world for two decades. And he has an approach where he measures everything, right? So a anything and everything that they can measure about a, a cyclist on a bike, they measure. So, you know, like, what's the most efficient or, or effective placement of the seat, right? And they kind of test it up and down. What's the most effective helmet style? Everything. And they found that they just, his approach is really to try to get small gains in every single thing that they can, right? So, you know, to make the helmet a little bit more aerodynamic, make you know, the, uh, the pedaling style and, make the, and the seat, you know, get a couple percent performance here. But cumulatively, the results are transformative, right? That's his style. And I think that's a good way to think about it here. You, know, you shift a couple things, then um, you can actually have a, a meaningful improvement in your performance. And then this is where when you're reviewing you know, what you've been doing and you're reviewing um, your results and then what you're actually doing in terms of putting on trades and taking them off, you can drill down to specific areas where you can improve. And then this, this mindset, the statistical framework guides us. Because basically what you want to do is you want to stop investing in particular setups that drag down your overall expectation, right? So if you find that your win rate overall is 50%, you have one setup that's a 40% winner, you can say, actually, I, I just won't do it anymore, right? or um, another, and that helps boost your overall win rate. Another thing is when you have, um, is you can implement better rules for profit taking or for stop losses so that you start to shift your, your win to loss ratio a little bit in your favor, right? So you, say for instance, um, you were taking profits at a certain level, you know, you're trying to go for two to one, profit, take profit versus stop loss, and then you, you kept taking profit too soon. Then you could say, look, I'm gonna try moving it to 2.25 or 2.5. Or maybe I take off half at two and then I let the, the rest run and set a trailing stop. You know, whatever it is you decide to do, but the reason you would do that is because you're shifting your win-loss ratio, so how much you make on a winning trade versus how much you lose on a loser, you're trying to shift it a little bit in your favor. If, you're win, if your win ratio stays the same, then that'll have a big boost to your trading. So this is, you know, this is this kind of logic or this kind of framework is really what you need um, and what you want to be th using in, when you're reviewing your trading, right? You want to be saying, okay, anything that's not boosting my expectation, goodbye, right? And then you want to be making all those little changes that we talked about, you know, that 2% here, 2% there, which overall will, will have a big result. Now, so this is the, the kind of overall talk for um, expectation, right? So it's really about what's a good trade, what's not a good trade. You know, anything where you have the best of it in terms of statistical expectation, it's a good trade, put it on. But the next question is how much money do you risk, right? Because obviously if you have positive statistical expectation, there's always the risk that you, know, you put on five trades in a row and all five lose and then you've lost money. So if you have a position size that's too big, then you, know, you could lose a lot of money in the meantime, right? You know, 10,000 iterations doesn't help you if you just blew up, right? You know, the, the long term, as, as Keynes says, you know, in the long run, we're all dead, right? Well, hopefully, you know, you're not dead while waiting for the long term to get there in your trading, right? You want to be in the game and, and you want to be making money. 